Ooh. Uh oh. Ta da! Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's vlog. Uh, we're in a different corner of my little area here. So with Inktober coming up in just another week or two, I thought I'd give you a little tour of what's in this book and give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing. And if you're not subscribed yet, I hope you choose to do so by the end of the video. And for everybody that is subscribed, thank you very much. Uh, we're getting a little closer to that goal that I set a few weeks back. So everything in this sketchbook is not native to this particular book. Uh, I have, I found there are some things in here from other sketchbooks, but we'll go through it all anyway. So let's get started. Alright, so first of all, I have this sketch of a, uh, like a warrior from, I believe this was back when I was playing Sacred on PC. Um, that would have been, oh, I think like early 2000s or so. Um, but because of the way Sacred ran, it was like you would constantly find different pieces of equipment and your character would end up kind of a mishmash of different types of equipment. So that was kind of the concept I was going for with this drawing. Uh, next up, this was a like, concept drawing for Odin, a uh, character for my uh, Battle Reaper comic book, or Reaper comic, um, and I'm not sure what year this was done in, uh, but, you know, Odin is also the uh, All-Father, the God of Knowledge uh, from Norse mythology, uh, and I had the idea to give him wood and leather uh, armor, uh, because of, uh, he was kind of like a wood god as well now this is mogul also a concept character for my um reaper comic uh mogul was a uh, what do you call it a he was like a barbarian from another planet and he actually died while hunting a dinosaur i think that was in my old reaper issue two um but while he was dead like in this uh sea of blood and darkness or whatever he was uh invaded by an entity that turned him into sort of a like a demigod uh when he came to our realm now i'm not sure where this came from uh, as far as the character uh but it is kind of a cool looking barbarian on a horse with armor um, and in fact I don't know I might want to try to redo that later I, I like that one a lot um, but again I have no idea where this drawing came from or uh, like where the concept came from but he has an interesting leather uh, harness here I don't know yeah leather over chainmail um, almost superhero like actually uh now this at least this one's dated this is dream girl um my wife's martial artist character uh from anarchy online and she wore kevlar armor which had this goofy open um abdomen on it from what i remember or it was like a vest or something um but this was back when I first started trucking. I was I did a lot of these drawings while I was over, on on the road in the truck, um, and I actually redid this digitally uh, not too long ago. And I will probably go ahead and pop that up here on the screen uh, so you can compare the two side by side. Uh, another one from 2004, I think this was just a, uh, like a adventurer, just something random that I came up with, and she's found this pile of gold in a dungeon, and the perspective's all kind of goofy, and um, everything's kind of flat, 
but uh, yeah. Um, now this one, <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure. I think this might have been either Rogue or Jubilee, but I never finished it. Uh, Rogue or Jubilee from the X-Men comics. Uh, but yeah, I only got like the basic sketch done with the jacket and left it there. Now this is an interesting one. Uh, this will probably make Rita cringe a little bit. Uh, this was my Battle Reaper and Hot Dream uh, makeout scene, which uh, they were both fixers from Anarchy Online, and uh, so Battle Reaper was my character, Hot Dream was hers, and uh, she wanted to roleplay later that they were brother and sister, which I didn't find out till after I had done that. Um, okay, this one is from a little bit later, uh, probably, probably like 2008 or so, uh, so there's no date on it. Um, this is my character from City of Heroes, so basically the same as Battle Reaper, except he is a superhero instead of a sci-fi character. Uh, never really finished it. But he added all these cool little armor plates and stuff uh, that I really liked. Okay, now this one, I believe that says 2005. Uh, this would be my Reaper character from um, my comic book. I was experimenting with laying down colored pencils really thick. This kind of industrial looking background area is actually meant to be hell from the comic book where uh, the main uh, the main what do you call it uh, where, where hell is actually like a industrial mining complex and Everybody that goes to hell basically serves as slave labor mining something from these rocks that float around this main tower. And there's constantly these like methane explosions going off. Um, just generally a, not a nice place to be. Okay. Uh, no date on this one, I don't think. Um, nope. But this is the concept... Or the initial sketch for my working fairy uh, drawing that I did in alcohol markers for Rita. Um, I'm not sure about the date. I'm going to say it's probably something like 2008, maybe 2010. Uh, so I basically sketched it out here and then I did a much bigger one. I believe it's something like 18 by 24. Okay, all right now this one's definitely 2008 it looks like uh, more colored pencil work with my Reaper character and one of my many concepts for uh, Dream Girl or Rhiannon from the comic book um, So uh, there's a whole lot of story there as far as how the two interact and how Reaper becomes who he is uh, but we won't get into that just yet. All right. Um, let's see. Now, this one I know is from at least 2010. No, at least 2009. Um, this sketch, not even finished, is uh, it was an idea that I had for a, or it was based on a scene from the Deathlands audiobooks where um, Ryan Cawdor, who's like the hero of the group and his crew, um, I think this was supposed to be J.B. Dix, this was probably, I'm not sure, but I want to say this one's probably supposed to be, um, oh, uh, the girl in the group, I can't remember her name right now, Christy, uh, Christy Roth, and then this would have been Jack Lauren. Um, definitely, it was not a great success. 
and I didn't finish it, but uh, it was kind of a cool scene. I believe they were in a western town, and um, there were these flying monsters coming out of them. I forget, uh, sting wings, I think they were called. But anyway, concept sketch. Uh, here is a messy scribble of something. I think several different ideas all at once with this dragon, demon monster thing, maybe a superhero girl, looks like she might even be clutched in his hand, uh, yeah, I'm not sure where exactly I was going with that, but it obviously did not work out. More colored pencil work, uh, this is Keeper Reaper uh, from, again, Anarchy Online, one of my characters that I had uh, that I was playing and wanted to do some art of um, he was an Aatrox uh, which is like a really big bulky character kind of like the Incredible Hulk um, so his proportions are not right at all for the character he is but he is kind of big um, another piece of uh, Battle Reaper from Anarchy Online Obviously, I didn't finish this one either, but uh, colored pencil work, exploring uh, some shading and blending. Uh, I had this thing where I was often trying to lay down colored pencils really thick to get an effect kind of like paint. Now, this one's also uh, from Anarchy Online. And this one was the one I think I called him Nano Reaper. And so he was a nanotechnician, um, kind of like a wizard who used um, nano programs and fired off effects from his hands. Um, it's very much like a wizard, but with a sci fi twist to it. Um, oh, let's see. I think there's a date on there that says 2005. And this is all colored pencil where this is where I was really working on uh, coloring things in and laying the colors down super thick uh, to get that sort of painted effect. This piece is the uh, like the bread and butter of this book I don't know it, it, this is the first piece that I remember doing in this book that w that I thought was awesome and this is from 1998 um, I had drawn this was the first uh, drawing of, of Reaper that became Reaper in my comic book um, and there were a group I think it was a little band uh, based out of the town I was living in uh, that called themselves Nova Scotia and they wanted something for their uh, drums or something and I'd put this together they never actually took it but um, th that was why I put the Nova Scotia on the banner there uh, let's see here now this would have been more around Reaper issue 2 uh, I believe it would have been 1999 and I decided to try to improve on the original concept of Reaper uh, so I gave the size some more of the curviness that it's uh, that a normal size would have um, added a spike did up the hair a little bit more but this time I gave him this uh, fur cowl uh, and more robes I mean I like this drawing better in some ways, but uh, even now, I'm thinking, you know, it could be better than that. Uh, now we come to Hell. Uh, so this is a drawing that I think I went back to finish it a couple of times and never really did much of anything with it. Um, but Hell is the overlord of the underworld. Uh, so... Basically, everybody in the comic book Reaper that uh, perished without, uh, well, that didn't perish honorably in combat, they would go to hell or to the underworld. And 
there, they would serve the Minotaur Lord Hell in his mines that we talked about in the uh, earlier drawing. Uh, okay, so this one, uh, an angel uh, from 1998, and what I do remember of this one is that I did it while working at the adult video store, and I'm pretty sure that I did it from a magazine cover and then added clothes to it. Um, but then I know I erased the uh, wings out to give them the shaggy wing, uh, or like the furry wing look. I want to say this one was meant to be um, the gunslinger, uh, Roland uh, Deshane, I believe, from the Dark Tower series. Uh, never finished it, uh, but uh, had the idea to do the gunslinger when I was reading the gunslinger books. Now, I believe this is uh, 1999. Uh, just a weird three-headed snake, dragon, demon type thing. Um, not sure where I got the idea to do this, but like I sort of like the the concept of it. I really like those uh, knobby fingers and claws, um, along with the texture in the the snake tail itself. Um, okay. Here's a sketch that went nowhere, uh, so started out with a head and a hand, and I have no idea where it was going. I believe this was, okay, well here is some loose scribbles of characters in movement, or in motion. But this one is, I believe it was supposed to be, um, oh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Braveheart, probably Mel Gibson, and it did not come out well at all. Um, this next image is not safe for work, uh, so if you're at work, don't continue to the next image here. Um, is it, is, it has nudity. Okay, so this is from 1999. And this is, uh, I forget who the character was, but it was from, uh, I believe Brian Lumley's Necromancer series. Uh, she is a Wham Fury, uh, with her gauntlet that they wear. And, uh, I mean, even, I mean, as bad as the hand is, she has claws, uh, like really long clawed fingernails in her gloves. And, yeah, I don't remember who she was supposed to be exactly. But I do know that, that it was one of the vampires. These are some goofy doodles of um, a uh, store layout that I was planning. Ah, okay, so there is another not safe for work image coming up. And, um, so, yeah. I, there might be a few of these here. So I started off with some smaller sketches here, uh, figures, and then did this one, um, which I believe I also mostly copied out of a magazine um, at work back in the 90s. Okay, so here's some more loose uh, torso sketches, uh, a cube, and I don't know, like a worm? I'm not sure what exactly I was doing there. Uh, sometimes I just kind of did some loose scribbles trying to uh, work up an idea. I have a feeling this one was going to be a Batman um, hanging off the edge of, or, you know, sitting, crouched on the edge of a uh, building. But, again, never finished that one. I'm going to say these are more gunslinger drawings. Uh, so, um, I was working on this concept of uh, getting the gunslinger out. And proportions were all screwy. And 
I never quite got it, so I never bothered to finish them. But as you can see, like I was sketching the guns, um, had the concept laid out. In this one, he almost seems to have a rifle or a machine gun. Uh, actually, this might not even be the gunslinger. This may be... Um, it could also be another character I had in City of Heroes that we won't talk about because it got me banned from City of Heroes. Okay, um, so I knew this helmet was my attempt at drawing um, the helmet from, I believe it was called the Anti-Spawn in the Spawn comic books. Uh, then this character may very well have come from Spawn as well. Um, I don't remember where this concept came from. Uh, and then this little doodle down here was probably, yeah, it's another Reaper character uh, that I never really did anything with. And over here I have another Reaper. Uh, this one looking very crazy uh, he actually has a katana a dragon katana like the one from Highlander uh, across his back along with his scythe where I went back to the straight thing I think I may very well have been kind of um, copying from Spawn's Angela character with the ribbon around the like the spear uh, she carries a spear but he would have a uh, his scythe and I think I was experimenting with like adding extra chunks taken out of the blade so it kind of looks like a can opener. And I was toying around with giving uh, Reaper like really large sleeves, different armor. I was always experimenting with uh, different armor types and different layouts for the character. Uh, so here we have another Reaper. Uh, in this one, he actually does not have muscular arms. Um, but he has that, uh, furry cowl that I gave him in that second Reaper drawing a while back. Riding a unicorn in this one. Uh, really large leg armor, uh, like a thigh guard. Uh, so I kind of like that one, uh, but I was never happy with this layout, uh, having him crammed in, like, to just take up about half the page because of the long horse. Okay. Uh, so here I did some more. Like I said, it could be... Well, actually, I think here I was toying around with the idea of maybe like a Western Reaper, like a gunslinger. I'm not sure why, but uh, here was like a drawing of the hand, or it was the concept of the hand for holding the gun. Um... Over here, I'd done uh, some doodles, uh, or like a little doodle of a sketch, which I believe I actually did that sketch. Um, actually, I think I did that as a digital painting in about, oh, maybe 2008 or so. I think that's when I first started doing digital painting. Um, let's see, I had some notes for work from home scams. Uh... And, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what all that all is about. Uh, some other things there that I have no idea what they were. Uh, I believe this one here might have been a concept or... Okay, I, I want to say that's probably Spawn. Because um, he's got the chains and, like, a belt thing coming off of him. But I'm not sure. And, of course, these would have been, like I said, I think my Reaper Gunslinger idea. Yes. So yes, here is um, probably the most detailed Reaper Gunslinger I have done. Uh, I gave him, I'm not sure what card that is, it's a spade uh, in his hat. Uh, but he's got his revolver, his vest, um, and then a huge ammo belt. Okay. Uh, these are some notes for my comic book. Um, so, 
I'm going to have to say that maybe I skipped pages going through here. Uh, because some of those things seemed like they were more from like 2008 and 2010. But here I have my first Dream Girl drawing. Uh, which goes all the way back to 2000. Um, so the concept for Dream Girl was that she... Uh, she started out as just a normal person, um, went through some rough times, and uh, actually felt betrayed by the character that became Reaper, so she started hunting him down. And so she has this big crazy uh, scimitar type katana, uh, with the hilt of it is actually Reaper's skull. And then I gave her some weird bone things or metal things on her gloves, which I'm not sure what I was planning with that. Um, but then she has this leather skirt, uh, basically leather armor, and it's chopped up into like a skirt that go flows around her. Okay. And you can see in the creases of the book, these are eraser turds from when I was erasing stuff. Uh, so, this is a demon that uh, I believe it was a family member wanted a tattoo design. And so I was sketching out this concept. Uh, if I remember right, it was meant to be a demon looking over his shoulder and clawing his way down... Uh, the person's leg. Uh, so this would have been on like uh, on somebody's calf and then you know, it would have looked like these these black terror marks here would have been like bloody rips coming down uh, the person's leg. I'm pretty sure they never got that tattoo. I hope they didn't. At least not from that drawing. Uh, so this one is I'm pretty sure a concept for a cyber reaper and I have no idea I'm gonna say it's probably around 2000 somewhere between 2000 2004 and it was not really a bad idea but um, I never finished it out and I do kind of like some of that shading that I did in the arm uh, trying to give it that uh, smooth metal look or textured along his muscles uh, this would be I'm gonna say I, I really do think that I started this with the idea of a spaceship and then it went kind of abstract and for some reason just looking at the doodle it kind of reminds me of ZZ Top for some reason uh, might be these abstract shapes here but I don't know what I was doing with that exactly uh, here this I'm pretty sure this was going to be a female character uh, but never got any further than the basic uh, drawing and of course again proportions are crazy on this character her thumbs are huge uh, I have no idea who it was going to be, though. Alright. Now, this would probably have been the first drawing ever of Robert the Mystic. Uh, this was another character for from the Reaper comic. Uh, he has um, this visor bolted across his face. Um, actually, it looks like it covers his ears as well. Um, so, it might even go all the way around his head. Uh, he is essentially blind. Um, he wears these bracers or gauntlets with huge blades and claws sticking out of them. I had given him kind of a leather skirt. Uh, actually, it's kind of like a... Uh, I don't know the name for it, but it, like a Roman armor type thing. Leather body armor. Um, boots, but he also has... Uh, some what do you call it like uh, belts or straps that are wrapped around his knees uh, holding his pants tight there 
Okay. Oh, this one's messy. Uh, so this was, I believe these are oil pastels, which obviously smeared all over this page as well. Uh, but this would have been another drawing of my AO, uh, AOE Reaper, I think is what I had named uh, my nanotechnician from Anarchy Online, which I showed you earlier, uh, where he looked like a wizard, sort of, like a cyber wizard. Um, so here you can see him from the side, where he wears this metal um, piece on the back of his head. This groove across here is actually like a, it would have been illuminated uh, with like blue energy. He had sunglasses. Uh, I'm not even sure where I got the pastels or um, or the uh, yeah the oil pastels, oil crayons, whatever. I'm not sure where I even got those to do that piece. Uh, I do want to say this drawing was probably meant to be another Reaper, uh, but I'm not sure what exactly is going on there with the fire coming out of his hands and everything else. Uh, yeah, I have, it actually kind of looks like he's wearing a trench coat too. So, yeah, I'm not sure where that character came from. Uh, so here, another Reaper drawing uh, that I never finished. But in this one, he's got the curved side. I even was going to put the uh, handle on the side, like a normal size. Uh, he has a sword at his hip over here. I actually like the pose from this one. Um, it kind of looks good to me. Um, let's see, but so he has his shoulder pads, his spike straps that go up over his shoulders. I believe I was giving him segmented leather uh, over the top of his main body armor. Uh, so yeah, I like where that was going. But for some reason, I never came back to work on it again. Okay. So now I've got empty pages. Oh, and here's something else. You can see here the indentation from where I was working on him. Um, this is back when all the pencils I used were HB pencils. Because I didn't know there were even different types. Uh, so... When you try to do like deep shading and stuff with an HB pencil, you end up having to push really hard like that. Now this is where I've got like a big empty section. Uh, so that's where my Inktober is going to go. But there is more in here somewhere. So let me just flip ahead a little bit. And like I said, my Inktober this year probably will not fill this book. But it will add quite a bit. Ah, yes, I used like a little piece of paper here to mark where we were going. And this book I've had since the 90s, so it is starting to come apart. It is now close to uh, 20 or 30 years old. Okay. Now this was a preliminary sketch that I did for a smoking jester. Not sure where I got the idea from. Um, but uh, this was actually a jester... Uh, hat or something on his uh, belt so it has the the danglies and the and the balls on it which would have been flopping around all over the place while he was dancing and stuff I did do a painting based on this on uh, plywood I think I had cut it in half so it was like four foot by four foot and I threw it in the trash when I moved out of Arizona so it's possible, I don't know if anybody saved it, but they may have saved it, and so someone could have that painting floating around Arizona somewhere. This, okay, 1998, is practically porn, but not quite. Uh, this is, um, I had an idea for like a, uh, I don't know, like a calendar or something, or a series of drawings. That I was calling bloodlust and so this is like a Viking warrior and he's actually this would be like a lake of blood that he's in with these um, heads on spikes behind him and 
here's one where there's like a horn or another, or the spike actually comes out the forehead and he's hung his sword off of that hook back there now these are kind of crazy um, so also bloodlust psychotic axe man and yeah so one-handed weird awkward swing with the axe um, but obviously big muscles crazy eyes tattered clothes um, and then I'm not entirely sure what this was other than it's weird so like it was like everybody's ganged up around this guy um, <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, yeah, I have no idea what this is really meant to be. Um, it's from 1998, so. You know, I, I'm going to use the excuse that it's pretty old. Uh, but I, you can see this guy here is smoking. I think this guy is also smoking and the flames and smoke are supposed to be coming across his face. But no idea really why these guys are surrounding the other guy. Or if they're all together and why they're having this meeting or whatever. And so that is the end of the book. And there were other pieces in here that have gone missing. Uh, but, and of course, you know, some of these pieces are getting kind of tore up and wrinkly. And you can see here, I, I may even have cut pages out of this book at one point. But that is the lead up for Inktober. Uh, so the, the drawings that we do in Inktober will be going in here. And they will be done in ink, probably also in color. Um, so I will be using uh, most likely my alcohol markers for coloring along with India ink for the inking. And since we're right here and you've been looking at it probably the entire time, although I can't tell for sure how bad that glare is coming from my lighting, this is the Beast. In its current state it's not quite done yet um, but it's getting there and I currently have probably 15 hours of uh, painting video to put into my next vlog which hopefully in my next vlog that'll be done uh, so then I can put the entire like probably 15 to 20 hours of video into that one vlog um, all of course sped up and uh, you can see that thing come all the way from sketch to finished painting. So, thank you for watching my video. I'm looking forward to showing you my Inktober stuff. I am going to flash up on the screen uh, the Inktober prompt list for 2020. And um, if you decide to do anything for Inktober, if you decide to draw pictures or whatever, share them to me uh you can find my email in the video description and just go ahead and send me an email with your picture or whatever and uh i might even go ahead and feature it in my next vlog uh also uh to help support my channel and my artistic endeavors you could join my patreon buy merch at my pixel site or even buy original artwork from my Etsy store. And again, links for all of that stuff is in the video description. So, thanks for watching.